Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Sometimes technology can be hard, but other times, honestly, it can be real user-friendly. Uh, for example, the RTK Facet has the most cutting-edge surveying technology at an incredibly low price, and it's really easy to set up and use for all your high-precision geolocation and surveying needs. But you do have to set it up properly to get the most out of it. So I thought I'd just walk you through it and show you how easy it is to set up. Oh, better yet, I'm gonna have Cassie set it up and show you that anyone can do it. Wait, what? Hi, my name is Cassie and I'm typically the one behind the camera, but this time I'm going to run you through setting up your RTK facet. With the help of the hookup guide and the help of Rob, we'll get this up and running in no time. And then we can also make shapes in the parking lot like Rob did. Or do like actual tech things, but like, I'm just here to make shapes. First, you'll need the SparkFun RTK facet. This is what you get out of the box. Then go online to our hookup guide and product manual. The RTK Facet has all you need built into one small unit. The only thing you need to add is your own tablet or cell phone. Currently, Android is supported and iOS support is planned in the future. Okay, Rob, what's next? Okay, so everybody knows we have great hookup guides, but one of the important things with the RTK line is the RTK gives you correction data, and you have to have a way to get that correction data. So especially with the RTK Facet, and the L-band, if you look, there is the link to the hookup guide on the product page. There's also a link to the user manual, and that's going to be super important for getting everything set up the way you need to get that precision you want, that 14 millimeter precision. Okay. So make sure you look at that, and that'll walk you through everything. But okay. we're going to walk you through it here. Sweet. Because you know. All right. So I'm so, plug it yep. in. Yep. Grab the USB cable, plug it in. I know how to do that. <laughs> it's one of the few things I can do with tech. All right. And the cute little flap. Yeah, the secret flap under there. So it's all slick and in, cool. And then you'll power it up. Okay. And you'll hold that button for a couple of seconds until you get the display. There okay. it is. Beautiful. And now you'll need to open a serial terminal. I'm using TerraTerm. So you will be using TerraTerm. <laughs> okay. Great. But yeah, so just uh, open that up. Okay, it's going through all the things on that little LCD screen. Okay. And, okay, cool. Great. And now TerraTerm. Mm-hmm. Right. And now you're going to want to click Serial because you want to open a serial port. From the drop down, you should look for the CH340. Got it. It's the second one on ours. Okay. And does that require a download or is that just usually on there? It, it should be on there. If you're, you're running an older system, you might have to download the driver for CH340, but it should be taken care of. So hit OK. Okay. Now, one more thing we have to do here is we're at the wrong baud rate. So go to Setup, setup drop down to Serial. Okay. And on speed, you're going to use the drop down or type in 115200. 115200. Yep, hit new setting. Okay. And now we can read. Okay. Lots Great, so that's giving you whatever it's seeing. So if you hit enter or return, okay. that will give you your menu. Now, all the menus on this have a 15 second timeout. Okay. So they'll go back to nothing. So if that happens, just hit what you need. Okay. So let's set up our perfect point, point perfect. Okay. And that is, let's see, whoop, there we go. It went back to nothing again. Okay. So just hit the enter key or the return key. And I believe it's capital P on the menu. P? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, Great. Perfect, yeah. So we'll need to add a home Wi-Fi and password. Uh, let's use the one here, SparkFun for today. This is just the one you'll use the most. So if you hit two, two. that will allow you to enter our uh, Wi-Fi here. We'll use the guest one. Do I just type in ours? Yep. Okay. Spark fun dash guest return and that should put that in. Okay. And now if you hit three, that'll okay. allow you to enter the password, okay. which I believe is Spark fun six three three three. Oh, three. Okay. Great. There we go. Now okay. once that's established, anytime you power it up within this Wi-Fi range, it's going to check on your on your uh, correction points. Cool. Great. Okay. And then do I? Is it is it just now working? It should now be working. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of that easy. Awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go make some shapes. Okay. Yeah. Um, to make shapes, we're going to use SW Maps. Okay. Um, that's got a great Bluetooth connection to the RTKs, and we've got Bluetooth built into this thing, so it's super easy. Great. Okay. Let's go see what we can do. <laughs> All right, Rob, we're outside. Let's make some shapes. Let's make some shapes. <laughs> All right. First thing we do, we'll fire up the RTK facet. Okay. Lighten up. It should go and collect its keys. Okay. We're started keys. And okay. Beautiful. Now we're going to connect it to SW Maps via Bluetooth. So we'll go over here, Bluetooth GNSS. 
we go, facet L band rover. Set our instrument height at one and a half meters and connect. And there we go, you can see we've got our latitude and longitude. Close that down. You see that thing moving? Oh yeah. Oh yep. man. I know, crazy. And let's record it. Record our track. Color red. Good. Good. And recording. And recording. Okay. All right. There Good. you go. All right. Let's make a shape. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my, I'm already like drifting. Yes, we're making shapes because they're fun and cool, but if you're doing a land survey or you want to outline the uh, uh, property, property lines, this is a great way to do it, to be able to show a client or whoever exactly where their boundaries are for landscaping purposes or whatever else they might be doing. Okay, not the worst. Okay. Okay, done. Done, okay. What is it? I know exactly what that is. Hey, That's your tattoo. my tattoo. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's All right. Excellent. That was harder than I thought. That is so precise <laughs> that I've like run into cars and such when I'm trying to make something. Did not think that through, but. Yeah, there was a moment when I was doing the flame that I had to go around yeah. one of the cars. <laughs> yeah, I was like going over this car and I was just like holding it outward yeah, yeah. to try to get as <laughs> straight as I could. Maybe I shouldn't have picked such a uh, straight lined, you know, right. shape, but that's awesome. Well, you can get your RTK facet over at sparkfun.com. And as always. You want to say it? No, that's your line. All right. Stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Okay, God, I hope this is in focus. Okay, so, <laughs> one take, here we go. <laughs> Our new SparkFun facet, wait, what are we calling it? What is this? Has the most cutting edge surveying technology available to mankind. <laughs> I just saw a thing come up that said, recording engine crashed. Of your so, screen record? Yeah, so, I'm, oh, no. so we may have missed the very end. That's okay.